Good morning. Welcome to our at dawn this morning. What does Paul urge the Thessalonians to do? We're studying 1 Thessalonians, and we are looking at chapter 4, verses 1 and 2. Finally then, brethren, we urge and exhort in the Lord Jesus that you should abound more and more, just as you receive from us how you ought to walk and to please God. For you know what commandments we gave you through the Lord Jesus. The church is to abound more and more. It is to walk. Uh, this is a call to activity. It's a call for the church to, to be engaged, to be doing something in the community. God doesn't call his church to hunker down. He doesn't call us to, to cross our fingers and roll up into a fetal position and, and let the world pass us by and hope that it will suddenly get better. And God calls his church to be active. He wants us to be doing stuff. He wants us to be in the world, talking, uh, acting, acting out Christianity. Notice what we have here. This is a strong exhortation as he's coming to the end of the book. Finally, brethren, he says, we urge and exhort. I mean, this isn't just a little bit. We urge and exhort. This is a very superlative language. What is he urging and exhorting? In the Lord Jesus, even, that you should abound more and more, not less and less, more and more. He wants us to be, to be out there doing, doing the work of the gospel, talking to people, helping people, connecting with people. Showing them a word of hope in a, in, a, in a time where there's not very much hope. So look at what we're to do here. Just as you receive from us. So Paul taught them this. Paul taught them this. Just as you receive from us how you ought to, oh, now here it is, how you ought to walk. Walk, this is active. This is, uh, means movement. It means doing something. And so the church needs to be in motion. And a lot of our churches aren't very much in motion. So this is, this is an important call to us. What are we doing? How can we, if we're not in motion, as many of our churches perhaps are, what can we do to become a more active uh, church? How can we communicate? How can we connect with people and build up relationships of trust so that we can share the good news of the gospel? So here's a call to the church in Thessalonica, and it's a call to us out here 2,000 years later. Just as you receive from us how you ought to walk and to please God, for you know what commandments we gave you through the Lord Jesus. So Jesus' ministry was manifest through his servants, Paul and Silas and Timothy and so on, who were working in the church in Thessalonica. So this is an this is indication that the church is to be engaged. Church is literally a gathering. We can do some things virtually and like with, with video like this or do a Zoom meeting, but that stuff very little, in a very small way, that, that sort of reflects church. But, but real church means you gather together in the same physical space. That's really, it's a gathering. That's literally what's going on. An ecclesia, a gathering, a calling out, out of the world and into the, into the church. So we need to get together for worship. And that's what we should be doing. What church should be is when the most moral people in, in, in the Bible way get together in a community, when, when the most moral and active and engaged and mission-minded people get together, something should come out of that. So there we have an interesting call to us today. Not, not to discourage us, to encourage us. What can we do? What can we do individually to help our churches be this kind of a congregation? Something to give thought to. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be right. Uh, many times the church slows down and becomes preoccupied with any number of things. We want our churches to be like your call to the Thessalonians, actively engaged in, in the things you have for us to do. So please, Lord, help us to figure out how to do that. Help us to find our part. Each member has a part in making this happen. So let's not wait for the pastors or uh, the teachers. Let's work together, but let's make sure we're busy about our Father's work. That's our, your call to us. Thank you for that call, Lord. In Jesus' name, we give thanks to you. Amen. So that's the question. Maybe you can approach the elders or the pastor in your church, some of the leaders in your church, and ask them, hey, what can we do to be walking in the faith right now in this current situation? What, what are our options? Let's rethink this, and let's go forward. Let's abound more and more starting today. God be with you today.